oxygen debt or, or oxygen deficit. What is oxygen debt? This is the oxygen required to get rid of the lactic acid that accumulates in the tissues during activity in which oxygen demand has exceeded the supply. After physical exercise, a person continues to breathe heavily. That is, this is the recovery period after the race. Like here in this diagram, this person has been running, though he has stopped, but he still breathes heavily. In fact, he is panting. Now, this, the panting is observed when a person has been doing strenuous physical activity, and even though they've stopped the activity, they continue breathing heavily and rapidly. Now, this heavy and rapid breathing is aimed at supplying the extra oxygen required after the activity. This extra oxygen that is required after the physical activity is used for two things. One, to complete oxidation of the lactic acid to carbon dioxide, water, and more energy. So the extra oxygen is used to complete the oxidation of the lactic acid that has accumulated. The second use is to replace oxygen reserves in the body, including restoring normal oxygen levels in the lungs, tissue fluid, hemoglobin, and myoglobin that is found in the skeletal muscles. That is myoglobin. Because during physical activity, the body depletes the oxygen reserves in the myoglobin, in the hemoglobin, and tissue fluid. So this must be replenished. The lactic acid produced in the tissues diffuses into the blood and is taken to the liver where this lactic acid may be completely oxidized to carbon dioxide, water and energy or the lactic acid may be reconverted back to glucose and then to glycogen for storage. Some of the lactic acid is excreted through sweat. Now, what are the advantages of anaerobic respiration? There are two advantages. It provides energy immediately during strenuous activities because the process of anaerobic respiration is very short. It does not involve as many steps as aerobic respiration. So it is an immediate source of energy. That's an advantage. Two, the lactic acid can be converted to sugar to be used for later, to be used later to provide energy. Okay? In the presence of oxygen, this lactic acid can be rebuilt into sugars that can be used later to provide energy. However, there are disadvantages of anaerobic respiration. One, it releases toxic products such as ethanol and lactic acid. Ethanol kills cells such as yeast cells when the level rises above 14%. While lactic acid causes muscle cramps, like in this picture here, and fatigue, these muscles are sore and aching. As a result of the accumulation, of the toxic lactic acid. The second disadvantage is that it is less efficient by far. For every one molecule of glucose, only two molecules of ATP are produced. That is quite wasteful compared to 38 ATPs that are released during aerobic respiration so you find that anaerobic respiration is 
quite inefficient. It's rather wasteful. 